This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button on the YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See them thinking, see them analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data release us is false. Money gives us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, everybody knows by now the shills attack me. They they go after me hard. They sometimes they're very disrespectful. But when they get too disrespectful, I just block them. I don't I don't even entertain them. I don't answer them. I just block them when they get too disrespectful. You know, and the thing is that I believe everybody's entitled to their opinion. I believe everybody's voice should be heard. So even when, when they get a little crazy, I still allow them to speak. I, I, I don't block them until they get like really out of hand with the disrespect. Then I block them. But, but here's the thing. Every day they tell me, get out the play then. Get out the play. Sell your AMC shares. Sell your GME shares. Here's the thing. What these shills or, 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 or the hedgy co-conspirators don't understand. This has moved beyond AMC and GME. This has moved beyond AMC and GME. This is for the entire market. This is for the soul of America. This is what we're fighting for. We, we went beyond AMC and GME. AMC and GME, which is the catalyst that opened our eyes. It, well, it was a catalyst that opened my eyes to the fraud and corruption in the market. So all you shills, all you hedges that think this is just AMC and GME, obviously you have not been paying attention. This is not about AMC and GME. This is about the fraud and corruption in our entire market. This is about our national security. Okay, yes, that's what this is about. This is about our national security. Because if we allow the bad actors to continue down the road with no type of supervision, with the SEC, the DTCC, FINRA, not policing the market properly, we're at risk of foreign, foreign countries who don't have our best interests at heart coming in and destroying our economy and that's the bottom line that is the bottom line if i was a despot and i and i'm looking at how the united states market is corrupt and unsupervised and unpoliced that is an easy way for me to come in and hurt Americans. Okay? A very easy way for them to come in and hurt Americans. They can make it short companies that they don't like. They can make it short companies that have to do with our national security. They can do that if the SEC doesn't start doing their job. If the regulatory agencies doesn't start doing their job. So all you shills this is way beyond AMC and GME. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that this play has gone way beyond AMC and GME? And do you think that because the SEC refused to do their job, it puts our entire national security at risk? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.